So you're getting an iPhone or somebody you know is getting an iPhone and you want to know what can I get for my friend or myself who is getting an iPhone that's really very necessary in the iPhone world, but at less than 50 bucks. Let's go through a few things right now. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back again. Today, I wanted to talk about like the five or so most important, most indispensable uh, accessories for someone who's getting or has an iPhone. You just really need to have these things uh, soon after you purchase your iPhone, if not at the same time. And, and not everybody can spend all the money. And when you're buying an iPhone, you know, it's, it's hard to then go and spend a bunch more money on other accessories. So this being the, the beginning of perhaps the holiday season, or if you just have, you know, a friend that you want to get a birthday gift, anything like that, these are some of the iPhone accessories that I think you should consider grabbing for yourself or a friend that are under $50, but completely indispensable. And I'm going to have links to each of these down in the description below so that you can go and check them out. Now, they will be affiliate links, which do help me out on the channel. They, they give me a little bit of a couple, a couple of pennies kickback whenever you buy something with my links, and that helps me out quite a bit. So if you are going to go buy stuff on Amazon this year, if you're interested in any of these things and you want to go check out the, uh, the stuff, then please click my links down below just to help me out a little bit. I do appreciate it. The first thing that people need to have when they buy an iPhone or any you some people would argue any phone is a case a lot of times I like to carry my phone without a case for a while just so that I can you know feel the phone and everything but it's a big investment and most people don't want to do that so a case is really really important and that's why I I recommend this is the first thing that I recommend the Apple leather case this is for the iphone pro in black but you can get it for the 11, iphone 11 pro iphone 11 pro max you can all the different iphones have this case available at for different prices at different times i'm not using the leather case this time although i've used both the black and the red and the uh and the brown, the brown turns a nice dark color after you use it for a while. I'm using the uh, Apple branded silicone case this time just to have a little bit of extra grip, just to change it up a little bit. But this is my favorite case for the iPhone by far. Now that doesn't mean that there aren't others. Uh, Otterbox makes a bunch of really good cases. Uh, they've got the symmetry case here. I'm showing it in clear, but then you can also get it in a bunch of different colors. Uh, they also make they also make cases that have pop sockets on them and all kinds of things like that. Uh, these OtterBox symmetry cases offer the same amount of protection that an OtterBox commuter case, uh, one of their older, more well, supposedly more protective cases, would offer, but in a much slimmer form factor, much better looking. And you know, if you if you're one of those people who might be a little bit fumbly with your phones, then you might want to check out the OtterBox just for that little bit of extra protection over what the apple leather case might give you now some people want to have a, a little bit of, a, a little bit less of a pricey option and for those i go straight to company like companies like speak and i've used speaking cases for years and years and years and their and their crystal cases have always been really nice uh this it, this is a silicone case that is in my in my estimation one of the best inexpensive cases that you can get speaking makes a lot of different kinds of cases and you can certainly spend all the time that you want going between these cases and cases by other companies like iBlazon and 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 uh, armadillo tech and there's a whole lot of companies that make cases in this like 10 to 20 dollar price range I'm a particular fan of Spigen, and so I, I recommend that here. The next thing you need after getting yourself a case is a screen protector. I used to I, I used to not be a fan of screen protectors. I used to not like to put screen protectors on. Uh, every year, Apple says that they have got the the strongest glass, the blah blah, all this other stuff. And every year, I have had problems with uh, with scratches. It, it doesn't matter if you, I don't know where they come from because supposedly nothing I carry should create scratches, but they do. So I have here for you guys a couple of different tempered glass screen protectors that I've used before that I really like that I think would be uh, just right up your alley. Now this right here, we have the 
Whitestone Dome Glass. I have used these before. I've done videos for Whitestone in the past. The the installation, it's almost like it's there's nothing, there's no connection between the glass and your phone. It's very, very seamless. It is an expensive kit, but it is really, really good. And it uses this UV technology to uh, kind of cure the adhesive that is uh, in between the phone and the screen protector, and it's really great. But if $49 is a little bit more than you want to spend for a screen protector, which is understandable, $49 is a good bit of money. And yes, you can get more expensive, but the white stone is good. If you want to spend a little bit less, though, you, sh you should look again at Spigen, and uh, I'm back with Spigen, another great, great company. Check out their tempered glass screen protector. I've got one here. There, there are several different iterations that you can get. Uh, you can you can get these for all the different iPhones that you're looking for. This one happens to be for the for the 11 Pro, 10s, 10s, you know, 10, 10 all that's all that kind of stuff. Uh, 10.99, you get two pieces of glass in case you break one. And I have broken mine. Uh, <laughs> mine broke. At least it fell on the floor. At least the, the screen protector broke and not the phone, right? So they will break. It, it has this applicator. I find that having the applicator is incredibly important because I can never get those things to go on, right? So, yeah, if you're not looking for something that's that's super expensive, but you do want to get that screen protector protection for yourself or for your, or for your loved one, then check out these Speak and Tempered Glass Screen Protectors. Now that you've got your protection on, now that you are ready to go out into the world with your iPhone, you're ready to, to sort of start doing your thing with the iPhone, you need to start thinking about... Other kinds of accessories. Uh, how are you going to get sound into your ears? How are you going to get around? How are you going to get the thing charged? How are you going to do all kinds of different stuff like that? And so I, I, let's just go straight to what I think are arguably some of the best $50 true wireless earbuds available out there right now. And that is the Anchor Soundcore Liberty Neo True Wireless Earbuds. <laughs> IPX7 waterproof. I've used the Liberties ever since they came out. I have used them. Uh, the the very first Liberties I had sent to me, and I used them, and I like them a lot. And Anchor has been doing an, an incredible job making really good headphones uh, for three or four years now. And and I really recommend Anchor's headphones over anything. They have a, a, a wide variety of headphones available, but this is the wireless that fell right into the price range that I was looking for for this video. Um, yes, you can get less expensive. Yes, you can get more expensive. Uh, the new AirPods Pro are out, and those are $250. Sony makes their, their headphones that are $230. These are not noise-canceling. These are noise-isolating. The difference is that there's no active... Uh, active measures going on to cancel out the noise, but it's but they are a good sounding headphone. They last. They are really really good. So if you're looking for true wireless headphones, I would recommend starting here with the Anchor, and then you know shop around a little bit if this isn't exactly what you're looking for. But for a this is a solid solid offering for. 50 bucks. Here's an option if you want to continue to use wired headphones. If you want to use the headphones that come in the box with your iPhone, then you can get yourself something like this. You see this has a this has a lightning jack, a male lightning plug here, and then it has two female plugs. One you can use for charging, one you can use for your headphones. Now, Apple, in their wisdom, when they took away the headphone jack, they did not think that it's like, oh, well, maybe people would want to charge their phone at the same time that they're listening to something. This solves that problem. There are many, many, many of these kinds of things, but I like this design because it doesn't it, it doesn't have wires all over the place or anything like that. It's a little bit more compact, and it solves that problem of charging and listening to music at the same time. For the below fifty dollar mark, I really think that a solution like this with the wired headphones that come with your iPhone is a good way to go. So now you get your headphones going, you have your wired charge going on, but most people want to do like wireless charging these days because that's the thing that people seem to like. They seem to like the wireless charging. So how do we get the wireless charging going? There are a few different ways. Now, the easiest way, again, we've got Anchor here. The Anchor is... In the, I, for accessories when it comes to iPhones and, and, and other stuff like that, Anchor has been around for a long time. Anchor has been making really, really good accessories for quite a while. I really like vertical standing 
uh, wireless chargers. That way, if it's beside my bed, I can I can look and see what time it is. If it's if it's on my desk, I can look and see my notifications. I don't like as much the ones that lay down. So, uh, the Anchor one here is thirty dollars. It's it's solid. It's made of of good materials, uh, and then it also comes in white for an extra three dollars for some reason. Again, these prices also you know are subject to change at any time. Uh, Amazon is not necessarily always charging the same exact thing so these are the prices at the time that i'm going through this stuff but when you look at this they might be different altogether for me though this is the one that i use myself i use this logitech stand and and i use it because it, you can do a couple of different things it's it's very easy to just drop your phone in there and it sits you can also sit it horizontally this way so that you can you know watch something while it's charging it's a really nice solution i like i like that it has both of these options and so i have been using one of these i have one and i gave one to my daughter for christmas last year uh it's worked great for the couple of years that i've had it and and to, to my estimation it is it is one of the best on the market i wish it came in black <laughs> but but it doesn't if you're looking for a really great charger then i would recommend checking out this logitech charger because for my money from my experience it's one of the best finally for those of you who are gamers or who know gamers who play games on their phone or on their ipad this last thing is is something that i think is really important because i don't like to play games on mobile devices using the screen as my controller steel series has this nimbus controller they have the stratus controller controller for Android phones, but the Nimbus controller is basically a, a PlayStation 4 slash Xbox controller for your phone. This particular one, the Nimbus, is made is made to work with iOS. It will work with Apple TV. It will work with your iPad. It will work with many, many things, and it, it makes playing games on your phone or on your iPad, or playing the games that are in now are in Apple Arcade, so much easier, so much more fun to play than than having to use your your fingers on the screen. So, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is this Steel Series Nimbus Bluetooth Mobile Gaming Controller, because it it's been around for a long time. Steel Series makes great stuff. And again, if you know somebody who's, who's a gamer who's going to want to play games on their brand new iPhone or whatever, then I would definitely check this out as, an, as a solid option for a gift for yourself or anyone else. So there's five different categories of absolutely must-have accessories for your brand new iPhone or, or your iPad or anything. These are the things that I go and I get immediately right after i start with the case and with the screen protector and then i work my way down and you know not all of these might be right for you or for the person that you're buying for but these are the categories that i think are those first stop categories let me know what you think down in the comments do you know anything better than what i'm, I'm suggesting here do you have other suggestions for folks you could leave it down in the comments below let's have a boisterous discussion this is the season where we've just got the brand new iphone and so now we can start thinking about getting our accessories through the holiday season it makes great gifts so thanks again for being here i really do appreciate it if this was your first time here and you want to come on back again then you can like subscribe bell notify yourself blah 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 blah, blah all those kinds of things and if you've been here before thank you ever so much for coming back again and being a member of the wizard squad if you you want to ingratiate yourself more to the wizard community then you can check out that join button down below and become a member of the channel which which comes with lots of interesting perks at different levels so just click that join button down below and of course i've just launched in time for the holiday season my brand new merch store which has coffee mugs phone cases t-shirts I, I'm really proud of the designs. Everything looks really good, and and I'm I, I, I'm just really I'm excited to get them myself. I should be getting some soon, and so maybe there's a link down there. Maybe you want to go check that out. Once again, thanks for being here. I really do appreciate it. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL, but not very often anymore. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.